Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. Well, we are to Psalm 77, reading the Word of God. And uh, it's about trouble. It's, about, it's a psalm of Asaph. It's about crying out to God for help and still wondering where he is. And uh, we know he's there. But there are times when we're praying that we don't feel like we're getting his attention. And, you know, we just have to keep praying. When we're in troubled times, keep praying. Before I came on to read this to you, I had looked at a short by Kay Nash on YouTube, and uh, she was at a women's conference telling the women, you know, I think the title of her video was something like, God kicked her out of the prayer closet. But what she was saying was, you know, Jesus needs us to focus on him when we go to prayer. And sometimes we're just so focused on our stuff, and I'm guilty of that. It really struck me, and it struck me how it kind of goes along with Psalm 77, because we can be so focused on filling the Lord, hearing from the Lord, taking care of each of our little problems that we're not totally communing with Him and praising Him and uh, giving Him what He needs. You know, He'll take care of the stuff. He told us to cast all of our cares on him. So when we do that, we need to have real relationship time with him. And we are in troubled times. We do need to give him all of our cares about those troubles. We do need to intercede for other people. But we have got to spend time in relationship with the Lord. Praise God. The call to God for help. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord, my sore ran in the night and ceased not, my soul refused to be comforted, I remembered God and was troubled, I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed, Selah. Thou holdest mine eyes waking, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. So uh, he's, he's in insomnia here from just worrying about things. Well, the Lord has told us, be anxious for nothing. We are in troubled times. It is worrisome things that are happening in the world. But if the Lord told us, be anxious for nothing, it, it's, it's something we can do. We can only do it as we understand that we are in the palm of God Almighty's hand. We are children of God protected by the creator of all things. We've got to hold those things in our mind to realize how safe we are. We are Psalm 91, safe as we abide in the Lord. Verse 5, I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with mine own heart and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? He's just in a hard time. He's not enjoying abundant health and blessings from the Lord right now. He's got a sickness on him. He is troubled. He cannot rest. Where is the Lord is what he is saying. Verse 8, is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Selah. And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph, Selah. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies went, sent out a sound. 
thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou leddest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. So he's troubled at first in this prayer as he's seeking God and wondering where he is, but then he's reminding himself what a great God we serve and all the great things that God has done for the people of God. God hasn't changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever is what Scripture tells us. And He is in covenant with the people of God. And God doesn't break covenant. You and I break covenant. God doesn't. He isn't a man that He should lie. If His Word says He will be there for us, He will never leave us or forsake us. That's exactly what He means, and that is what we can count on. I just want to end this with a prayer. It's Veterans Day in America, and uh, we do so appreciate our veterans. Uh, we just pray covering over them. We appreciate those that are now in the midst of fighting in other countries because they serve in America for America. So let's just cover them. Heavenly Father, we love you so much. We're so grateful for all you do. We do give you the highest praise, honor, and glory. We know you are with us. We know your hand is over us. We know that those that belong to you have your favor, have your guidance, have your protection and your provision, and we thank you for all of it. Father, we pray of our veterans today in America. We do remember their service, Lord. We just, uh, our hearts are full thinking about the cost to many families when someone goes off to war to serve. And we thank you for the hearts that are willing to do that. The ones that you can thank them for their service and they can say, it was my privilege and honor to serve. And we thank you for those people that care about their country, that care about their families, their friends, and they will lay down their life for that. We are so grateful for those that have come back, and uh, they've come back hurt in many ways. We just pray your love and protection and healing from every wound over them. We pray for provision for them that they are not forgotten. And we pray for those serving today, for their families that are very concerned about them, Lord, that you would bring comfort and assurance that you are with us. You are always with us. We pray for those that are listening, maybe to this video, that have stopped in. If their hearts are not ready to meet you, we pray for their turning to you that they will seek you with all their heart, that they will seek your righteousness, and we know that you will fill them when they do. We want your guidance each day, Lord. We want wisdom and insight. We need to know what to do. We need your help all the time. We know your mercies are new every morning and that you have not forgotten us or cast us off. You are there for us, and we thank you for it. Cover us with your feathers, Lord, as Psalm 91 says, we will abide in you. Praise the Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your sacrifice for my sins. Praise God. Amen. Well, I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.